Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Saturday. It is April the 30th, 2016. Now look at race number 8. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections. Today's 8th race from Belmont is the featured race. It's the third running of the elusive quality stakes. Purse $100,000 for 4 year olds and upwards. We have a field of, let's see, we have a field of 12 horses, but the 6 horse ready for ride and the 11 horse stall walking dude are all main track only. Um, this race should be a great stakes race. It's that good. Um, grade 3, maybe grade 2 quality horses in this race. It's just a very good race here. Um, they are traveling 7 furlongs on the Widener, sh on the Widener uh, turf course. I almost said Widener shoot a la highly apart. But 7 furlongs on the Widener turf course. That's the outer one. Uh, rail will be set at 9 feet, so just keep that in mind. Um, hoping, hoping this race stays on the turf. We're getting a little bit of rain, but not so much. Um, but I, I have a feeling it's going to probably stay on. But, um, you know, with the uh, 12 horses in, in this race, um, I, I went a few deep. Um, in pick fours and, you know, the pick six, I would probably have to use... Um, I'm going to give you a Superfecta. I went... Uh, it's going to be a $6 Superfecta key, actually. And I would probably use all these horses I'm using in the Superfecta to put on top of... Um, of a uh, you know of the pick four in, in a pick four ticket, uh, I'm gonna go as a top selection here. I, I'm gonna go with the four horse bye bye Bernie at eight to one. I think he should have a monster run today. Gonna key that horse on top of the superfecta key. Gonna go four with the one two three five twelve for ten cents. The superfecta key should cost you six dollars. But number four bye bye Bernie eight to one. Luis Saez. This horse is, is coming up on a big run today. I think um, last time out first start of the year April the ninth at Keeneland five and a half furlongs in the Shaker Town. Great to event that day. Finished fifth by uh, three and three quarter lengths that day. You know, had a horrible trip in a field of 12. This horse is far, far back early. It was 12th, 12th, 10th, and then got off the fifth. But, you know, it had to, you know, alter her, his course and really was coming up towards the end. If the race was six furlongs. I think this horse could have really got up there for some real, uh, could have been a part of the real good action. Um, undrafted won that day. He won, uh, in, uh, at Royal Ascot last season in the Queen, uh, in the Diamond Jubilee, I believe. Um, that was the horse's first start of the year. Last start of last year came out Woodbine. Six furlongs November the 22nd in the Kennedy Road Stakes. Great to event that day. This horse finished fourth by four lengths that day. You know, was driving up that day, but just didn't have enough uh, ground today. Uh, that's the good thing about Belmont. You know, there are certain horses that can't go a mile, but there are certain horses that can't go, you know, five and a half furlongs on a conventional turf course. That's the good thing about Belmont. They card seven furlong turf races. They're like sprint races. They're seven furlong sprint races. Um, because if you run a seven furlong turf race anywhere else in the country, it's either going to be, you know, two turns, all, almost all of them are two turns, except Kentucky Downs, basically, but, um, you know, he, she should, uh, this horse, he should really, um, do well here with this elongated, um, um, you know, the seven furlong distance, um, she, in the New York Tick last season at Woodbine, six furlongs on October the 18th, this horse won by a head, another race course that card seven furlong turf races, uh, won by a head at 22-1, really rallied up that day, and, the, and then the Kentucky dirt, uh, Turf Dash, finished third by neck, um, was closing up incredibly well that day also. So the Sun Frong shouldn't be a problem. If this horse closes very well, he should be on a big run. I think this horse is 8-1. to one. It's a very, very good price for this one. Uh, Luis Saez on this one for Brandon Walsh. Um, has been trading down South Florida. Hasn't had a workout since um, since before the um, April the 9th start. But I think this horse should really do well here today. So to recap my bets for race number 8 from Belmont Park, it's the third running loose of quality stakes. I'm going to go with the four horse here. Um, who is Bye Bye Bernie? I'm um, going to do Super Factor Key 4 with the 1, 2, 3, 5, 12 for 10 cents. It's going to cost you $6. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.